It's my first solo voyage on Atlas. In the cold, cold, oh so cold north. It's a ship that I built, painted all black. It's pretty cool looking, if you ask me. It's got some guns on it. Don't roll up on me, I'll blow you away. <laughs> I am rolling by myself though, so it's a little bit harder. Uh, I love the graphics on this game. I rolled up, came up on some tre treasure maps. Uh, I actually did that in a later progress during the day. I uh, didn't come to any fruition. I tried to do it by myself, so I'm going to do it later with some company members. I love the graphics on this game. The where the light uh, fragments. Uh, it's just it's a great game. Uh, look at the fog just rolling over the water. It's pretty neat. You know. The olden days. The olden days. So I had a lot of fun with this ship. I, I built it by myself. I did have some help building some of the items on it because I wasn't able to build them. But I farmed it over the double weekend, and uh, I'm really happy with it, especially since my first ship got taken. Not taken, it got destroyed as I was uh, assimilated into the company that I joined. It was a rather funny experience. I uh, ended up in a gibbet whenever I logged in, and I was drunk out of my mind. And all in all, I ended up joining the company, but it was a very fun way to join a company. Uh, it uh, showed me, my, it was my first experience to, like, survival slash, you know, piracy games like this. Uh, it's, uh, it's been a fun experience. Um, I don't know. The game's a little bit slow if you're just starting to play it, if you're just learning, or if you're thinking about learning to play it. But if you find a company, things can get done rather quickly if you work together. Because you think the person who plays casually doesn't have to do as much but they can still enjoy the fruits of endgame as someone who plays pretty hardcore i'm a pretty grindy guy you know if i want something i'm gonna grind it uh, it's my second boat that i built and i've been playing you know a literal over a week so i mean it, it is possible if you have the time but some people don't have time i know it's a big concern with a lot of games you fall behind you can't get the max level you can't get the end game content because you don't have the time to play you can only play an hour a day maybe you know you got wife kids family work you know so it's a really nice game to be able to, to profit off other people's efforts and also to work together as a group uh downside would be you can lose everything this is me learning how to navigate which is really funny <laughs> let's not get into that uh my ship sailing right past the dead ship you gotta be careful of those guys on the sea they will destroy you this is me learning how to rotate the sails and uh I don't do it very efficiently here, you know, obviously. You're trying to get green up there in the top right where your map is, or where your uh, boat UI is. But uh, after being that long out there, it didn't really bother me. Uh, this, is, this is probably just five minutes of a four-hour session that I took. I went around, I explored all of L2, and, uh, you know, I came back with, like, 20 treasure maps, a lot of them in the same region. And then I had some, you know, journeymen and, you know, fine treasure maps that I definitely couldn't do without my company. I did attempt to do one of the uh, common treasure maps by myself. It wasn't fruitful, and I think it's because, not because of lack of trying, but lack of planning and lack of knowing what I was doing. It's the first one I ever tried by myself. So I'm going to wait for my guys to come back, and we're going to go uh, farm this, you know, 4,000, 5,000 gold that I accumulated in treasure maps later on. And we'll each get that a piece, so that's that's nice. You know, that'll bring a lot of wealth, you know what I mean? Hopefully about, you know, 100,000 gold to the company. So it was worth my little voyage, you know, for a few hours. Uh, it's very hard to park these things, so it takes a long time once you're, when, you're, when you're new to it. You know, and if you've got a crew, it's pretty easy. So my best advice would be to get some coin up, get a crew, and then try to do it. And uh, that's it. That's my first voyage, and hope you enjoyed the video.